Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Sure do appreciate you dropping by tonight. I tell you what, I got a special meal for you tonight. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, and it took me a while to get one of the ingredients. I finally got that ingredient in. Now I can do this. I tell you what, this is a hamburger. You're gonna love it. The thing I've been waiting on is this right here, a ski soda water. Now, I got it packed down cold on ice. That's good, that's refreshing. I tell you what, I know what to say about them. How many of y'all figured out what I'm cooking tonight? I don't know, I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you in just a minute. If you haven't figured it out, but we're gonna do a burger, we're gonna have some ski sodas, and we're gonna do some fries. So we are cooking a slaw burger, fries, and a bottle of ski. Stick with us and see how we do it. We're gonna get started on getting this meal together. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with my fries. Now I have got some hand cut fries here, just have them sitting in water. Of course, that's gonna keep them up, you know, from turning brown on us. But I'm gonna drop these in my oil, I'm gonna drain them off just a little bit, cause you know we're gonna get a pretty good splash when I get them in this hot oil, cause it's about 350 degrees. Oh yeah, there it goes. Let's see how many we can get in there. We're gonna keep these frying and keep them going. I'm not gonna cook them all the way. The reason I'm doing these first is we're gonna cook them half, maybe three fourths of the way through. We're gonna par cook them. And then we're gonna bring them back in at the end after we pull them out and put them in right at the end, finish browning them up, finish crisping them up, and they'll be ready to go. But we're gonna get them done first, then we're gonna get started on our burgers. This first batch of potatoes is about, oh, I'd say three fourths of the way done. They're starting to golden up some. So I'm just gonna take them out let them drain and then we'll get in another batch of frying up another batch going in and always be careful when you're doing this if you have too much oil you can't overflow it and catch it on fire with that fire down there so make sure you don't put in too many fries each time because you do not want to flare up a, a oil fire at all last batch of fries are ready to come out with their par cooking so i'm gonna Scoop them up, get them on my paper, and uh, we'll start on the next portion of this meal. We're gonna get ready to do our burgers now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread my coals around, get the Weber kettle heating up, and get ready to get those burgers on it. Now, we're gonna take these, and we're just gonna dump them out. We're doing a direct fire on here tonight, so shake those out. Get that out of our way, spread our coals around. And I'm just gonna spray the coals kind of evenly across the bottom. These burgers aren't gonna take real long to cook, so we're gonna put it on here. That's going well. Put on our grill. And cover this up. Let the temperature come up. And when it gets to be oh about 450 degrees, we're gonna throw the burgers on here. Have the grill heating up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season up these patties. These are eight ounce patties. Not packed real tight. They are pre-formed and there's a small dimple in them. The uh, patty press I have uh, automatically dimples them. So patty this loose probably didn't need it, but puts it in there so we're gonna leave it. So got that one covered good. Now I'm gonna turn it over. Burgers are ready. Grill's getting up to temperature. We'll let them sit just a little bit longer, then we'll get them on that grill. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on our coleslaw. I've got a beautiful bowl of slaw here. I've got some, uh, you know, it's maybe a little over a quarter of a head of, uh, of green cabbage, about an eighth of a head of, of purple cabbage, and then uh, one and a half, two good uh, carrots shredded up. So it's gonna be a nice, colorful slaw. Yeah, I'm going to get our dressing together, show you how we do that, and then we'll get this mixed and get ready for the slaw for these burgers. All right, to make this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, oh, about a half a cup of mayonnaise, drop it in, 
And then, oh, I'd say a good quarter cup of sour cream. Drop that in with it. Oh, maybe half a teaspoon of garlic. And I'm going to put a good tablespoon of sugar in it. That sugar in there. Uh, salt. Maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. Some white pepper. White pepper goes a long way, so be careful with it. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon, maybe. That's good. And uh, last thing is, is some apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to go, oh, about one and a half tablespoons. And just stir this together. Now, you can just dump this on top of your, right on top of your slaw. But you don't incorporate all the seasonings together as well. So if you put it into a, into a bowl and mix your, your, um, all your wet ingredients and your seasonings, they get incorporated real, real well together. Then you get them on top of your slaw. And you're gonna see you gotta mix much more uniformly. That's mixed up. Set our slaw down. I'm just gonna spoon this over the top. Now I tell you, I don't know what is the traditional slaw for this exact burger. Uh, I did some research and when you look up slaw burgers, heck, you go over to the Carolinas, they got chili on them. Um, some of them are made different ways, but I just did my basic coleslaw and I'm going to put the recipe down below for the coleslaw for you. But that's in there. I'll take my tongs. I've kind of found that's about the best way to do it, is just pick it up and stir it with your tongs. And I will tell you this, using fresh purple cabbage, a lot of it, if this slaw is going to sit for a long time, it will start bleeding out and you're going to get some, uh, you're going to get some purple off in your, in the juice of your cabbage. So you really don't want to do that. Kind of mix that at the last moment. Or the other thing you can do is, is take your cabbage, add a little salt to it, and uh, let it sit for a few hours with that salt on there, and it will render out a lot of that water that it, it will otherwise once you mix it. But you always get a lot of water out of your slaw. But this is nice, it's pretty, it's colorful. It's a great tasting recipe. So we're gonna set this to the side, and we're gonna get those patties on the grill. That's all about ready to go letting the get a little bit hotter on our temperature on our, our uh, grill to get our patties on. Time for another ski soda. Wasn't sure how these were gonna taste. These are actually pretty darn good. Without they ought to be. <laughs> I tell you what, getting getting ski soda shipped to Texas was not a an easy endeavor, I can tell you that, and it was not a cheap one either. But uh, these are good, made over in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Double Cola Company makes these. And so uh, we got hold of a uh, grocery store, I want to say in Missouri, that would ship these things around the United States. So we got these shipped over to us so that we could do our slaw burger fries and a bottle of ski. And uh, we're pleased to get these burgers on so we can make that slaw burger. Now we're just going to take a little oil. I'm just going to put a little oil on top of these burgers to help keep them from sticking when we get them on the grate. doesn't take a whole lot. Just... Brush it on. You could spray your grate if you wanted to. I'm just electing to brush my patties tonight instead. And these are an 80-20 ground chuck, so they're going to be packed full of flavor. And they're going to they're gonna cook up very nice. That's ready to go. Let's get our lid open. And I think I have my... Yep, there it is. There's my turner. We're going to put these right over the fire. We're going to let these go three or four minutes and we'll get them turned. Time to flip these burgers. Get them up. If they're ready, you always know they'll, they'll turn loose from the grill. And that one turned loose, so did that one. We're going to get this second side of these burgers cooked real good. And while the second side's finishing up, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put my fries back in the oil and finish them off. Fine. Going to get these back on there again. Get them on the spider. 
Let's drop them down in this hot oil. I like that color. Let's get them off. First batch is out. Get the second batch in. Cook those up. They'll be ready to go. This first batch is ready for our seasoning. Bowery seasoning salt. Works great on fries. So we're going to sprinkle a little of that on. Not a lot, just a little bit. Last batch of fries. Time to come out with it. Make sure my oil's turned off. Spread them out across our paper towels so get the oil drained off of them good. That's done. Little Lowry seasoning salt. Cross them. Fries are ready. Let's go back. I bet you our patties are ready to come off the pit. Get the lid up. Look at these. They are looking pretty. They are cooked all the way through. I think I'm just going to let that fire kind of sizzle a little bit, get a little crisp on that edge of that, of that, of the outer layer of that burger, and uh, see how that does. But just leave that lid off and let them get good and hot here for a second. There's something about fire, let me tell you, fire on food. Puts that flavor on it. I think the kiss of these flames is just really gonna set off the edge of this patty really well. All right, let's take these off. Getting a good sizzle on this side. And of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close off the vent on this Weber kettle, close the bottom, close the top, and that'll shut down this fire. Save some of the coals for next time. But these patties are looking good. This last little bit of flame, I think, just really is going to set off that burger very well with flavor. Last one's looking pretty. Take it off. I did wash this platter a while ago in between shots. Just to let y'all know, I didn't put it back on the same dirty platter. Took over there and washed it off. That one's turned off. Let me turn off the front one. All the air is shut off to this Weber kettle now, so that flame's gonna shut down. The coal fire on those coals is gonna go out. And I'll get back out here later on, clean off my grate, get everything ready to go. But now let's get these patties and let's put together these slaw burgers. Almost forgot, didn't toast my buns. So let's get these buns on here. We're gonna toast those up a little bit. If you've seen me do a burger video or any of my barbecue sandwiches, you know I always toast up a bun, puts a little extra flavor on there. So drop these on there, get them toasted, get them back off, then we'll make that slaw burger. Now it's time to get this burger together. I'm gonna take one of my toasted buns, French's mustard, always use French's. Spread that around a little bit. Now I'm just gonna drop on a little more of that burger seasoning we had. And it's uh, not a whole lot to it. It's, I had two tablespoons of pepper, two tablespoons of coarse salt, and a tablespoon of garlic. That's my basic burger blend. Take those, give me a nice big patty on top of that. Now in their music video, they didn't have cheese. I'm gonna put some cheese on these. And I tell you what, on their video, they weren't near as big of burgers either. These are bigger burgers. We got a big old patty on there. Got our cheese, I'm gonna take some coleslaw, Come with the slaw right up on top. And that's going to replace our uh, lettuce and our tomato. But that goes up on top. Set it there. That fits good there. Some of these nice hot french fries to go with it. And we've got a slaw burger, fries, and a bottle of ski. Now, I'll tell you what, some of y'all people are going, what in the world is he talking about? People my age, they're going, oh, I got it. I know that song. I know who those people are. Anyways, back about 1990, a song came out called Dumas Walker by a group called the Kentucky Headhunters. And uh, I'll tell you what, they uh, won some uh, 
Grammy Awards for their singing. They won country music awards. They were really kind of a, a country rock, southern rock type band. But they did do Miss Walker, wrote the song up themselves, and they did a slaw burger fries and a bottle of ski. So that's what we had for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go down there and give me that thumbs up. Always do appreciate that. Check out their music video. That's a fun video, if nothing else. They've got some other good music, too, that you may want to try out. Now, I'll tell you what. They're made up. Let's give them a try. Slaw burgers are looking good. Mmm. That's good. Mm. Let me tell you. Ski soda water. French fries. Mmm. I tell you what, that was a good burger, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed maybe a little trip down memory lane with Kentucky Headhunters, Dumas Walkers with a slaw burger fries and a bottle of ski. Had to get that in there, so I'll tell you what, thanks for stopping by. Give me that thumbs up. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, tell your friends and family about us. Let them know we're cooking up slaw burgers. Let them know we're bringing back memories. Let them know we got good food here on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. And we're going to see you down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.